Is there something wrong with me? Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan, and he like the ravens, like the ravens. And you know just what I mean. You two team, keep it clean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right engraving? So YouTube team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And I come to you a little bit concerned about myself. And I feel like I may be a defective Ravens fan. But before we get into why I believe that, special shout out to my guy, David. Uh, me and my family, we went out to eat the other day. Uh, and David had came up to us and he was like, hey, man, I, I watch your videos. I appreciate the videos. So David is a part of Team Keep It Clean. And he worked at the restaurant that we ate at. Send us free dessert. And I'm like, okay, shout out to David, man. So, but seriously, we appreciate you. We appreciate you watching the videos and appreciate you being willing to do that for us. Um, also, special shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Appreciate y'all supporting despite what we're getting ready to talk about. Now, um, I'm a Ravens fan. Been a Ravens fan for a while. Um, we've, of course, made a lot of videos on YouTube about those Baltimore Ravens and different thoughts that we've had concerning the team um, over the years. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. It still continues to remain a lot of fun. And we appreciate everybody that does watch the videos and support the videos. Um, but one thing that has just been a constant and it's made me feel like, man, am, am I off? Is, is something wrong with me? Has been when it comes to the talks of adding a quality wide receiver. And the reason I say that is because we've brought this up several times, as, as you all already know. Y'all know how we feel about it. I feel like the Ravens should add somebody who is that guy. Either somebody who, like, we, we've mentioned plenty of wide receivers already before, um, but more recently it's been a DK Metcalf. Um, but we've talked about plenty of them in the past, and we will continue to talk about them. Um, or whether it happens in the draft in the first three rounds. Um, it's, it would be either or. It probably wouldn't be both. I wouldn't mind if it was both, but it's, it's going to be either or. But whenever we talk about uh, the Ravens potentially adding a significant wide receiver, a lot of Ravens fans, when, when they discuss it, that's, that's something that, that's like frowned upon or something. And I'm like, why? And, and so many people, they, they, they say a lot of the same thing. One, They'll say, hey, we, we don't need that. We don't need another wide receiver. We have enough wide receivers as is. We don't need another one. And I'm like, oh, well, nobody ever said that about the linebackers. Nobody ever says that about the cornerbacks. Nobody ever says that about when the Ravens had a defensive lineman. No one ever says that when Ravens had a safety. No one ever says, oh, well, the Ravens got enough on defense already. But because when, when it comes to defense, people are like, oh, yeah, bring him on. Oh, yeah, bring him too. Oh, yeah, let's get that guy. Oh, yeah, let's acquire him. Oh, yeah, let's sign him. But then when you talk about the wide receiver position, the Ravens adding more and adding quality too. So many people are like, no, for what? Why? And I just get so confused at that. Like, what's the problem? Why wouldn't we want to do that? I, I see so many conversations of people just wanting to make everybody's job on defense easier, wanting to make everybody's job on defense more simple, wanting every, to make everybody's job on defense that much more effective and impactful. And I got no problem with that. I got zero problem with that. I mean, I want these Ravens to be the most well-rounded team that they could possibly be. But it's always so weird to me that when you, we have these same conversations about the Ravens doing these things on offense, it's talked about like it's a bad thing. And I'm just like, huh? I don't understand. And the, the Ravens can dish out these big contracts to guys on defense and people will be like, yes, let's go. Let's get it. Where are we moving, baby? Yes, go. But then when it's even talked about it. When, when the possibility is even mentioned on offense, people cringe and they're like, no, we shouldn't pay that guy all that money. No, Lamar should take a hometown discount. 
No. Why would we get a wide receiver? Why would we trade for a wide receiver? We're going to have to pay him. And I hear that stuff and I'm like, ew, what, what's happening in my ears? This is gross. Because a lot of Ravens fans, are, are they seem like they're afraid. A afraid to do something significant on offense. And that scares me. And that's made me feel like maybe, maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe I'm a, a defective Ravens fan. I'm just off. You talk about the possibility of paying a Hollywood Brown and say, ah, no. You talk about the, the possibility of Lamar Jackson getting paid a lot of say, ah, no. You talk about the possibility of the Ravens drafting a wide receiver very early, <laughs> no. You talk about the possibility of the Ravens trading for a significant wide receiver, <laughs> no. And what a lot of them do, they, they'll, they'll point to the market and say, why would we want to pay wide receiver that? Well, look at the wide receivers that got paid that. They are those guys and they are difference makers on their teams. You look at a Tyreek Hill. You look at a Devontae Adams. Those are, and the, just last year, those are guys that the Ravens, they had experience with. And over the years, too. Now, Tyreek Hill last year, the Ravens, they took care of him last year. But over the years, he has been a Ravens killer. But you can, I mean, you can say that about really any Chiefs wide receiver. But anyway. Then Stephon Diggs, too. That's another one. Like, these guys, they're getting paid. But they're getting paid for a reason because they are that high-quality product. It's like, and you get what you pay for. But so many Ravens fans, they don't want to pay for. And to me, that sounds like a problem. That sounds like a problem. And I know the Ravens, they, they paid Ronnie Stanley. Oof, that's, that's been a little rough recently, but they paid him. They took care of him. No Ravens, they paid Mark Andrews. And oh, so, okay, let's go. That one worked out quite well because had they not paid him and then he went off and had the year that he had last year, ooh, prices would have went way up. Boy, Ravens got him at a steal right now. But when it comes to the wide receiver position, it's always crickets. It's crickets. And you get more wise than anything. Why should we do that? Well, or we shouldn't do that. No, we don't need that. That's when so many fans, they start penny pinching. They start being extra frugal. They start being downright cheap when it comes to wide receiver talent. And it's so weird, man. It is so weird, and I just, I just don't get it. Like, what is so wrong about wanting to pay a high-quality wide receiver money? And I, it just, it, it blows my mind. So, and, and I'm very curious as to what's gonna ha what's gonna happen. Well, I mean, they could be, in, they could be in contract talks right now with Hollywood. Because he, um, he's in his fourth year. So they could sign him to a contract extension if they wanted to. Or even if he wanted to. Um, and with Rashad Bateman, when that time comes, I'm just curious. Because Hollywood is clearly the best wide receiver that the Ravens have ever drafted. He's the best one. Now, he doesn't have much competition. Uh, because Ravens, when it comes to drafting and developing wide receivers, that's another thing. So he's been the best wide receiver that the Ravens have drafted and developed. Because you know, you know that track record. And we done talked about it a lot of times before. It ain't pretty. But with Hollywood, it's been so much better than a lot in the past. And Hollywood has continued to improve every year. But when that conversation comes up, oh, when the Ravens going to pay Hollywood? How much the Ravens going to pay Hollywood? So many fans like, oh, no. You don't want to pay Hollywood no stinking money. No, we don't want to do it. He doesn't deserve it. We could go out and draft somebody instead. We could replace Hollywood. And it's like, why? So I'm, I'm almost scared. I'm, I'm scared for when Rashad Bateman, if he pro progresses as we expect him to progress, I'm scared for when it's contract time for him, what Ravens fans are going to say. Oh, 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 
No, we don't want to pay the shop payment any money. Yuck. That's unheard of. What are you thinking? I'm worried about that. Like, seriously. Because that's been so many Ravens fans thinking. And I know the front office has ingrained in a lot of Ravens fans this way of thinking like, on defense, oh yeah, we bringing out that checkbook. But on offense, especially at wide receiver specifically, no, nah, we ain't got it right now. No. But then I, I take you back. I take you back to the last time the Ravens traded for a significant wide receiver. Let's go back a couple years. It's when they traded for Chris Givens from the Jets. No, I'm just playing. Not him, not him. Um, well, no, he was on the Rams before. Anyway, not him. They traded for, remember when they traded for Chris Givens, though? Remember him? I know y'all, some of y'all do. Um, Anquan Bowden. Anquan Bowden. They gave up, I believe, it was a third and fourth round pick for Anquan Bowden. What did he do? Oh, nothing. Just came over to this Ravens team and really helped take them over the top. That 2012 Ravens team, they had an Anquan Bowden. So they had a possession receiver, a guy who was that guy, established guy at wide receiver. He had already been established, but he wasn't old and hobbled Anquan Bowden. No, Anquan Bowden was still like that. They had a Torrey Smith. Young guy, he was in his second year. 2012, he was in his second year. Uh, and he was in his second year. And he was a quality downfield threat burner. And he was the reason that they were like, all right, Lee Evans, it's cool, but no thanks. No thanks. And you know what's crazy? I even take you back to 2011. 2011. They actually... Didn't they have Anquan Bowden then? They, yeah, they had him already, but they still traded for Lee Evans. The, the, these Ravens, they, they knew. The Ravens knew how close they were. They knew they were in win-now mode. They still had Flacco on his rookie deal, too. So they, they were really going in, huh? But the Ravens were in win-now mode. So they had an Anquan Bowden. They traded for Lee Evans from the Bills. And they still drafted a Tory Smith. You see that? You, do, do you see that? They still did that. They, oh, people, people call me crazy. I, I, again, people call me crazy when I say stuff like that. That they should do that stuff now. And then, again, go back to 2012 now, the Super Bowl year. Had Anquan Bowden. You had Tory Smith. So you got your one and your two. You got your guys there already. So then they were like, you know what? Okay, if, if, he, if he can't beat him, join him. And if he can't beat us, we'll have him join us. Jacoby Jones. Decent wide receiver. Was he the best wide receiver? No, no. He was more impact guy on special teams, though. But he still made plays at wide receiver. Remember when he caught uh, Namdi Asamoah slipping? Ooh, even though they called that touchdown back. I think they called it offensive pass in the field. And it was such a terrible call, too. Oh, it's so bad. But Jacoby Jones, he was decent as a wide receiver. But Ravens already had that. They had to establish one and two guy. But they still added to that. They still added to that. Why can't they do that now? Well, I don't see what's the... And you, and you see, but my point is, you see the impact that it had. You see that. No Anquan Bowden. No Super Bowl. And we know that. No Anquan Bowden, no Super Bowl. His impact was so significant. Ravens needed that. And they got it. Because the Ravens had been close for so long. Year after year. after They were close, close, close. Why can't they do that now? 